An epic voyage that's coming to an end, and one that was inspired by a journey that changed the world. After two years at sea, the three-mast Dutch schooner, the Oosterskilde, is on its final leg. It's back in British waters. After traveling the globe as part of the Darwin 200 project, an expedition to raise awareness about conservation and biodiversity. For the last two years, we've traveled more than 40,000 nautical miles. We've done 32 voyage legs, right the way from England all the way to Australia and back again. We're doing these incredible projects in Darwin's wake, in his footsteps. Be it from Cap Verde, Rio, Auckland and of course the Galapagos, the team on board trained some 200 conservationists along the way. They followed in the footsteps of Charles Darwin's own voyage aboard the HMS Beagle. It would become the foundation of his theory on evolution. From 1831 to 1836, the young naturalist gathered evidence for the origin of species, which would forever alter our understanding of nature and living beings. Dubbed the world's most exciting classroom, the Darwin 200 project taught up-to-date conservationist methods. But the navigation was nearly all old school aboard the 107-year-old tall ship. We don't have modern uh, technology is not on deck, so all the sails are, are hoisted by hand with, with manpower only. We don't have winches for that. We steer by hand. We're always outside to steer the ship. Of course, inside we do have generators, we do have electricity, so things have changed. But, but outside, the sailing of that ship is still very much the same as it was uh, 100 years ago. Now, a new generation of environmental leaders has been trained to make scientific discoveries of their own and to raise awareness about the mysteries of our fragile planet, nearly 200 years after the 22-year-old Charles Darwin first set sail.